The astonishing beauty of the world's largest coral reef, Australia's Great Barrier Reef, the pride of our nation. Extending 3,000 kilometres, up to 65 kilometres wide in parts, it abounds in the most extraordinary variety of marine life, including 400 different kinds of coral. But for how long? Lurking in the dark shadows of this pristine wonderland is a destructive and rampant predator, the dreaded crown of thorn starfish, known as Acanaster plancae. At the present time, crown of thorns and outbreaks of crown of thorns starfish are the single biggest cause of coral loss of the Great Barrier Reef. There's literally thousands and thousands of eggs in each one of these arms. So these are the gonads and you can see that the eggs are quite large. So this animal is probably going to spawn within the next month or so. Crown of thorn starfish have food in abundance on the Great Barrier Reef. They feast on our magnificent coral. They have up to 21 large arms covered in venomous spines. Spreading themselves over the coral surface, they suck the tissues of nutrients and colour, leaving a stark white skeleton, all within one to three hours. We do know that it can really decimate uh, coral reefs very, very rapidly. You can have a beautiful bay, uh, high coral coverage, and if you have a big aggregation of crown of thorns move into it, within a matter of weeks to months, uh, it can kill most of the living coral. Dr. Lyle Vale is co-director of Lizard Island Research Station, operated by Sydney's Australian Museum and located in the Great Barrier Reef's northernmost island. Professor Morgan Pratchett is a research fellow at the ARC Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies at James Cook University in Townsville. These marine science experts believe controlling crown of thorn starfish, most abundant in the northern part of the Great Barrier Reef from Cairns to Lizard Island, is potentially a losing battle. Each starfish is capable of producing about 60 million eggs in a single season. So they really are just a bag of gonads. They have absolutely phenomenal reproductive potential. Our underwater paradise is being bombarded by a growing epidemic of crown of thorn starfish, the fourth recorded since the 1960s. This latest plague is in some of the highest densities ever seen and it's steadily gravitating south towards Townsville and the Whitsundays. The accepted method is to go out and inject them with sodium bisulfate. The problem with this method is, is that it's extremely time consuming and you have to inject each starfish up to 20 times. So we've developed a new method, a single shot injection method where we inject them with ox bile and the main saving is that each starfish only needs to be injected a single time. But there are around one and a half million crown of thorn starfish. Of the 2,200 reefs that comprise the Great Barrier Reef, 300 to 400 are infested with crown of thorns. Uh, we've been protecting a couple of little reefs out here. You have to do a lot of dives to protect one reef. So when you swim over it the first time, you might get quite a few, but you're actually missing a lot of others. And they can walk in from nearby areas. So even though you're protecting one area, there might be a, a big population nearby and they got tremendous sense of smell for coral. Professor Morgan Pratchett's brilliant discovery of a single injection with ox bile is much faster, surer. But killing them is a band-aid solution, effective and sustainable only on relatively small areas of reef. We need solutions for widespread control and prevention of future outbreaks. The two main hypotheses about the causes of outbreaks are firstly uh, nutrient enrichment where elevated levels of nutrients from land runoff are providing more food for the larvae and allowing greater recruitment rates and the other relates to potential overfishing of key predators so that the starfish have fewer predators so more of them are surviving.
We really have to get at the root cause as to what's causing these outbreaks. And quite frankly, we don't know the full story yet. We absolutely have to do something to reduce the devastating impacts. And this really requires a lot more research to understand their population dynamics, the causes of outbreaks, but also increased investment in finding new and improved methods to control outbreak populations. The Lizard Island Research Station is the critical location for researching crown of thorn starfish. It was the site where field trials on the Oxbile single injection method were conducted. This was a significant breakthrough, but we urgently need your support to find other additional methods for controlling crown of thorn starfish. The reefs are already in a very, very poor state, and this savage crown of thorns assault could decimate them. So please donate. Your contribution to the Lizard Island Research Station will help continue research to stamp out the problem and hopefully preserve the Great Barrier Reef for future generations.